Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we will be reviewing, nope, not the Weber grill, but what's inside. Let's take a look at both these two Weber baskets. We'll take a look at the dimensions of them. We'll put some food in them. We'll cook with them a little bit. But also, I think it's important to notice that one of the big things here is the size of this barbecue versus what you might have. So we're gonna dive into all of that today. Let's get going. So first things first, the actual barbecue that I am using. This is a Weber Genesis 2. This is the four burner. Keep that in mind. Has 33 or so uh, inches of grill space. And then on our depth, it's about 18. So this is the larger of the, this is the larger of the most popular ones by Weber. I strongly suggest if you're on the fence on if you should go with the three burner or the four burner, go with the four burner for sure. For sure, no doubt about it. And also I would say upgrade to the one that has these doors as well, especially if you have dogs, pets, raccoons, uh, kids that might get into there. And of course they're trying to go after those drippings and all that kind of stuff. Hey, but that's enough talk about the barbecue. What we're really after is these two guys right here. So our Weber baskets, the smaller of the two baskets is roughly seven and a half by seven and a half inches. And the larger one is just about 12 by 12. So seven and a half by seven and a half sounds like it would be pretty big, but boy, it is really small. So here's my suggestions. <clears throat> if you have, and I've already used both of these and we're gonna open some new ones today and we will cook with these. If it's just two of you, maybe three of you, this is a good basket to go with and maybe you can get away with the Weber grill that is the three burner. By the way, all these different things, I'll put links to them down in the description. If you have four or more of you, you and your family, Go to the four burner and get this larger grill basket right here. So if you have the smaller grill and you went with this larger grill basket, it's gonna get pretty tight on space over here for the hamburgers, chicken, and all that kind of good stuff. As I was unpacking these new ones, I noticed that there's uh, some exact dimensions on the back right here. So if you wanna take note, you could pause it right here. Also, these are both stainless steel and dishwasher safe. Nice for the cleanup. Okay, the grill is up and going, and let's add onions and mushrooms, and we'll put those in our larger of the two baskets. And I've got this little vegetable medley here that I'll also put in the smaller one. And all I'm gonna do is put a little bit of uh, olive oil or maybe avocado oil on these, and then I'm also gonna put the blend. That's an awesome uh, seasoning right there. All right, let's get to it. So onions, and I kind of made these sort of measured out in these bowls just so you could sort of see how much fits in where. And we could probably stack a little bit more in that larger one if we wanted to. And they'll reduce in size, of course, but we don't want it to be too stacked as far as how high it's gonna be. And we'll put this one in here. So the barbecue is stacked. You can see I've got chicken out here, a couple different kinds of chicken. We're gonna get some slower cooked chicken up here. And the baskets work out great on this. A couple burgers up here. And again, this is the four burner, so this is pretty large. Now, of course, you're not gonna have two baskets going at the same time, most likely. I'm just doing this just to demonstrate it. But again, if you have this larger grill, go with a larger basket, my opinion. If there's only two of you in the family, maybe you go with the smaller one. Ooh, let's get a little seasoning on there. Again? We're getting pretty close. How many minutes? Mm, five minutes. Give or take a few. These are on the lowest settings, which is what I recommend. Uh, make sure your food gets cooked all the way, but at the same time, slow and low. There you go. The veggies came out fantastic. And now on to one of my favorite parts about these baskets. Are you ready? There they are, out of the dishwasher, looking good, ready for the next use. Hey friends, if this video helped you out, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.